Hey all, welcome to this week's CIO PCC Favorite Collection, and today we are going to look at a vintage line from the 1970s that uh, very few of you know about and even fewer of you collect. It is a uh, Western line, you know how much I love the Western lines, and of course in the 1970s, Westerns were still extremely popular. So today we're going to look at the little, not sorry, the Legends of the West. We will see Little Legends of the West, but uh, that's a subset of these guys. So we're going to look at Legends of the West. This is a line first produced by Excel in the 1970s. Uh, it's a nine-inch line. Remember, this is the time Amigo as well. But they weren't the only companies doing this format in this style. Here we have the first three. You're going to see Pocahontas, Cochise, and Wild Bill Hickok. Now, Wild Bill Hickok is also packaged back there in the most common version of the boxes they used. You'll see there's a flap to the left showing a picture of him. Kids were actually encouraged to cut that flap off and save it. So a lot of these ones you'll find nowadays have that flap cut off. But it was the most common style of packaging for these. Those are the first three. Next up is Deadwood Dick. He was so popular that they did a whole assortment where they released nothing but Deadwood Dick in the box. Which sounds like an SNL skit. Over here we have Jesse James, as well as Annie Oakley. Now, Annie Oakley is on the other style of packaging that they did. This style of packaging is much harder to find still intact these days, carded like this. And Annie Oakley also have a loose one of her up there and back. They liked the ladies, along with Annie Oakley and Pocahontas. They also did, as you can see in back here, Bell Star and uh, Calamity Jane. There are a number of the horses. There's four of them there. You can see one's facing the other way. All four of those horses go with the little or with the legends of the West line. I keep trying to say little legends of the West. Woolworths did some special packaging, which you can see here for a whopping five dollars. You could get Wyatt Earp in this red box from Woolworths. There he is loose next to it as well. And I also grabbed one of the uh Davy Crockett's that same way, so you can see the Woolworth packaging. The 11th and final figure is Buffalo Bill back there in his buckskin. So that's the 11 figures they did. They also did these guys. It's just as I mentioned, you might find some of these sometimes. These are the military legends. I happen to pick up General uh, Grant just because he is at least in that Western time frame. Now, I kept wanting to talk about little legends of the West. That's because they also did those. Excel started it. They were kind of uh, groundbreaking with their four-inch line called the Legends of the West. They did a few of those. Then a company named Empire came along and picked it up, and they continued the Legends of the West in this smaller format. Many of the same characters that we saw in the nine-inch format. First, they did them on blue cards. They did these both white. Well, actually, first they did them on the orange cards, but they did them on blue cards here that are uh, narrow and wide. They also did these orange cards. You can find most of the figures both ways. There's a few exceptions. And they did them like with play sets. So down here, you'll see the fire wagon. This is the only one I only have boxed and not loose. In front, we also have the covered wagon with his horses. Here we have the buckboard. Each one would come with a rider. This is the peddler's wagon front of the peddler's wagon you notice there's another version of deadwood dick now in the four inch version as well as arrowhead she's one of the uh only females that we got in the four inch line and there we have the stagecoach with his driver one of the horses in back with a buffalo bill now this play set that are sitting in front of this was a play set made out of cardboard produced for the line came with a few accessories as well and uh, if you bought it at Alden's, which is a, another toy store, you could get this exclusive with the dog that you see there up front. The Peddler's Wagon is really my favorite. And if you find one loose, getting the driver is always good. But the hardest thing really is to get the horse with that little hat that comes off. That's his little straw hat. So I showed you I had the Fire Wagon over here boxed. I also have that Stagecoach boxed over here in the back. As well as the Buckboard, Peddler's Wagon, and Covered Wagon. All boxed up there. So that's it for the Little Legends and Legends of the West. Don't get them confused. I'll show you over here. There is a line called Legends of the Wild West 
Imperial did these very different stuff, though. So, that's it for this week. Hopefully, uh, you're going to go rush out and find lots of cool Legends of the West. Until next week, or at least until Friday when I do my next acquisition report, make sure you subscribe and have a great week.